He's one of modern boxing's most enigmatic fighters, a former world champion and a good world champion, a real, you know, holding a real title. But he's got a bit quiet. Hopefully, he will let us know what his future looks like. Please welcome to the show. And I don't know if he's been on this show. He was on the Satanta show. Junior Witter on the line now. Junior, sorry for keeping you waiting. I gave my producer the wrong number. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. Now, Junior, what, what is what is happening with you? I mean, you you, you lost your title a few months ago. You, you was yeah. talk about you moving up to welterweight. You've gone a bit quiet. Officially, what what's going to be happening with Junior Witter next four months or so? Um. We're just getting the politics out. I've moved up to welterweight. I can't do the weight anymore. Um, when my last fight, I just I couldn't make the weight come to that. Yeah. When I got in the ring, I had no power, I had no speed. And it, I looked bad for, for myself, so I needed a little break. Did, I've done that. Um, I hurt my leg, so I've, I've taken, I'm taking care of that. Yeah. And I'm probably looking like um, end of spring, beginning of summer, getting back out at welterweight. I'm in the top 10 with WBC, so I'm sure. looking to get someone else in top 10, international fight, try to get a, an eliminator. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and you feel with your WBC pedigree that you could probably walk into an eliminator, couldn't you? Yeah, I, I don't think see so. why not. No, I agree. I I'm, don't I, see why not. I'm on your side. I'm pleased you said that about that last fight, because you didn't look right. I've never seen you look that bad, if you know. It, it just wasn't you in the ring, you know? I was, I've was. i never been so dead at the weight. Um, I made the weight, I struggled. And the last, probably the last four pounds just absolutely kill me. Yeah. And I've lost four pounds before coming to a fight, and it's not, and I've done it really comfortably, but it absolutely, every pound killed me, and I never recovered. Yeah. By the time I got in the ring, I was still feeling flat. I had no bounce, had no spark. And I realised that, yeah, I mean, I've been boxing at like well for too long now. I need to move back to welterweight. Yeah, I mean, there, there comes a point, Junior, as you say, that last four pounds, you can get it off when you're 29, when you're 30, when you're 31, but the older you get, that that four pounds just becomes harder and harder and harder. Let's yeah, hope, let's hope you don't regret not moving up to well too earlier, to be honest with you, because um, if, you, if you're going to be as comfortable there as you think you are, you're, gonna be, you're still going to cause some people some problems, I hope. Oh, I definitely am. Yeah, I mean, uh, I look at it and I think there's plenty of people out there for me, and I'm not worried about anybody, and I'm pretty confident when I get in the ring, I'll be back to my normal self and I'll shine. Because there's also, I mean, you've got a situation there where the best, the so-called best welterweight in Britain at the moment is in is in your gym. Kel Brooks in your gym. Little yeah, yeah. Kel? Yeah, and he's boxing in one of my old phones his next fight, I'm told. Yeah, that's what I'm told, yeah. <laughs> well, we've, got, we've got to keep it quiet about that because it's not official yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the, the, let, let, me, let me ask you this, Junior. Um, there's a bit of shenanigans going on today, obviously, with Mayweather and Pacquiao. And yeah. um, they're obviously not going to fight each other, certainly not in March. I think they'll fight later in the year. And both of them are looking for welterweight opponents. that would be a nice one it, back, wouldn't it? It would have, but it, it'll come too soon for me. Yeah. That's um, just a I'm pound note job, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going in there just, just to make up the number, just, just to take a beat. I'm not, I'm not going to be ready for that, sure. for that early in, in the year. So yeah. I know that now, so I'm not even, I'm not even throwing that behind to the name. Yeah. Now, let, let me ask, let me ask you this, uh, Junior. I've just got to do this quickly. When you get back in the ring, mate, and let's say it's going to be in whatever May or whatever. Um, when you get back in the ring, um, when when you get back in the ring, and let's say you win or lose, but you know in your head that you're it's not you, it's not the old Junior Witter. Will you be sensible enough? And you're generally a sensible man. Will you be sensible enough to walk away then and know that it wasn't just a wait last summer? Um, if I get in and I can't perform, I'll know what good. it was. And that's what that's what I wanted I'm to hear. Not, I'm not interested in taking a beating. Good. I mean, I can have a good fight, and you have hard fights, and you take some sticking in hard fights, which isn't a problem. Sure. But if I if I'm taking a beating because I haven't got anything left, yeah, it's time to move on. It's a bit like Michael Brody fight. Yeah, I saw that Brody, His last fight, and he he just wasn't the man he was. No, it was horrible to watch, wasn't it? It was. It you was. Know, I mean, I've Brody for many years, and. He's a nice guy, and it just no, annoying. No, it was, I, I didn't like watching that. Listen, Junior, it's a pleasure having you on. We'll speak to you in a few months when you're closer to coming back. Yep. Junior Witter, thanks very much for joining us tonight. Junior Witter there talking now. The